Hi YouTube, my name's Jen. Um, for some of my weight loss surgery friends, you know me as No Escape 21 on the obesity help form, as well as just look for the picture of the farting unicorn. Anyway, it is um, two months till my vertical sleeve gastrectomy in Mexico with Dr. Jose Rodriguez, Philoreal. And I'm nervous and excited. Um, I've been doing a blog for a little while now called Weighed Down. It's at weighdown.blogspot.com. <clears throat> Sorry, I sneezed and I have phlegm. Anyway, so um, I thought, you know, two months to go mark would be a good place to start doing my videos. And I'm probably going to post them on there as well. And um, so today I was just going to do a little intro about me. I am 26. My current weight is, depending on the day, 266 to 265. Um, I'll do a quick full body shot so you can see. Well, it's not that much full body. You can see most of me though. Oh, yeah. Just so you know, that took a lot of guts to do, so feel special, I guess. Anyway, so, yep, that's me, 266, 265, 26. Um, I've been a yo-yo dieter for a while, I'm ready to stop that. Um, most diets I've not really yo-yoed that much, I've mainly stayed up and kept going. Um, the only one I had any success with was Metafast, liquid diet, and uh, one meal of protein and veggies. Anyone's bound to lose a shitload of weight. I lost about 60 pounds. It's back as well as three more. So, um, I was watching uh, Fathead last night, a really good documentary, uh, and I liked the fact that somebody on there said, you know, if you do a diet, you should do one that's not so extreme that you can't stick with it and then maybe think about that diet. It's not a bad diet, it works for a lot of people. Um, with me it wasn't a problem about not eating the right things. I know what things I need to eat. I'm definitely more of a volume eater and a stress eater. Um, so I chose to get the vertical sleeve gastrectomy to limit the volume and I am shortly going to be starting seeing a um, counselor or therapist for the stress eating issues as well as all the other fun issues like um, that have got me here, depression. Um, so I'm going to deal with both parts, have the stomach surgery and do some uh, mental surgery on myself. And let's see what else. Um, my big reasons for choosing the surgery were the fact that nothing's rerouted. Um, there, I mean, people have had great success with the gastric bypass. There's also a lot of people having a lot of um, success with the duodenal switch, which is um, the first part of it is actually a vertical sleeve gastrectomy, but then they reroute your guts a little bit. I don't know all the exacts about it, and I know if you go and look on Obesity Help, if you are interested in that one, as opposed to the gastric bypass, um, there's tons of info on it, as well as at dsfacts.com. Um, but anyway, I didn't want to do the rerouting of the intestines. I didn't really want the malabsorption that you get with both of those surgeries. Um, lap band I thought about but I was never crazy about it mainly because you're putting some silicone thing inside you and um, as well as I did see a lot of complications on obesity help as well not to say that there hasn't been a quite a bit of success with it as well so, but so I decided I didn't want anything foreign put in me aside from staples and I didn't want anything rerouted that was my decision for that surgery. My reason for getting weight loss surgery period is I'm 26. 
which while is still young, I'd rather not wait till I've had years and years and years to pack on more weight and become really ill. I already was uh, diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in October. It's now March. Um, I'm not on insulin, so good for that. Um, I have knee pain, for which at 26 I never thought I'd say. Um, but I know my mom's heavier than me, or actually she might even be right around the same weight, but she's in her 60s. So, I mean, that would be kind of acceptable to have some pain then. Not that I think she's in a healthy state at all. Um, obviously, um, I'm not expecting to come out of this on the other end and be able to jump right into a bikini. Um, there's a lot of issues with skin and stuff that I may have to deal with. Um, that's just a fact of weight loss surgery. Sometimes you're lucky and have great genetics and everything just right back in. I may not be so lucky, but I may. Who knows? Um, I am going to work out and um, do a lot of toning to try and help that. And when the day comes, I'll decide whether or not I want to get um, plastic surgery. Though I probably am getting the boobs done regardless because they've just been big forever. Excuse me. <laughs> um... I was B cup in like fourth grade, so yeah, the, these these girls have uh, seen a lot of damage, so I'm at least gonna get them um, looking forward again. <sighs> what else? That's that's about it. Um, if you want to know more about me, you can check out my blog. I'll put a link on here somewhere. And yeah, so hi. Um, I'll be doing a couple more videos probably before I leave for Mexico. Um, I'm hoping to be able to bring my um, video camera with us and also take some pictures and um, maybe do a video from the hospital. I already told my best friend um, we may have to do a video while I'm still on the pain meds right after surgery, but we'll see. It may not be released. That is all. Um, yeah. So bye.